New York City's streets and sidewalks are a limited resource. And when public space is dominated by a group of people who for no reason feel entitled to break the law, everyone else is hurt. Transportation issues abound in New York City and from the Department of Transportation to the New York Police Department, there's always an emphasis on public safety and on decreasing congestion. And yet when abuses of parking permits take place, people parking their cars on sidewalks, double parking, parking in front of hydrants, parking in bus stops, these are severely detrimental to public safety. The first and easiest and most comprehensive solution it's simply to enforce the law. There are existing traffic laws that prohibit all this kind of parking abuse that we're seeing, but no one's enforcing that law. This is not just some kind of uh, uh, point that a few activists are making. This is a very serious problem plaguing safety conditions in daily life in our communities. It's a very serious safety problem when cars park in front of fire hydrants, when cars park overlapping intersections. Fifteen years ago, our community association spent scores of hours and volunteer hours taking plates and essentially proving that the illegal parking was commuter parking. In uh, 96 and 97, when the merchants in our community pointed out that because city agencies were putting up uh, identifications, placards, which we're now learning are mostly fraudulent, in their windows and using the m little metered space that there was, flyers began to come out and circulate in the neighborhood that said, please do not support these mer merchants with your business. Do not shop at the merchants on Stuyvesant. Thank you for your support. After that, another flyer came out with, picture with drawings of tombstones upon it. Fraudulent permits should be uh, immediately rescinded, pulled off the street, and the, the union should be mandated not to continue printing fraudulent permits. And anyone else who is abusing fraudulent permits should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. If you confront a ticket agent, they run away from you. About it. They will not ticket any placarded car. If you confront them, they tell you their supervisor told them not to. City workers don't want to ticket other city workers even though they know that the permits are bogus. The traffic enforcement agents need to know that it's okay to ticket permitted vehicles that are, are abusing the law and they shouldn't be reprimanded for it, which is so often the case. I live in the Pelham Parkway section of the Bronx in the 49 precinct. As you can see, I got pictures right here totally showing the outright disrespect to the community. It brings down the quality of life. If you drive a car and you're looking for a parking spot and you can't find them, which you can't find where I live at, all of a sudden you see somebody pull up to a hydrant, a no standing zone, a no parking zone, an intersection, and park their car and put their placard in the windshield. In other words, I'm a police officer. I'm above the law. That's not right. I think NYPD park just about everywhere. They park on the sidewalk, they park into a lane of traffic, they even park uh, in front of the entrance to buildings. And they just do this without any regard at all the fact that they could get towed, they could get ticketed. They know they're going to be left alone. For people who are supposed to be upholding the law, it really says, uh, says something very bad about the fact that they're allowed to do this and that the city isn't cracking down on it.